You're listening to the soothing sounds of the PLA on the Snowplow Show. Roy. 2023 Phone Losers. Roy. 2023. I love you. Phone Losers. Roy. Shut the fuck up. Who is this? Phone Losers. Hey there, everyone. You're listening to episode 816 of the Snowplow Show. I'm your host, Brad, and this one is brought to you by Dark Adderall, FOD87, Synthhead, Theop, and the Stunning Kruger Effect. This one is happening from my very cheap hotel room in southern Texas. I'm not recording from the backseat of a car tonight. I don't know if that's good or bad or... I don't know. There's a meetup happening this year. Have you heard about it? It's in Chicago. It's called the Vintage Computer Fair of the Midwest, and you can find that at vcfmw.org. Wasted Memory and Dragon Mirror have organized that entire event of all these vintage computer people gathering together and showing up and showing off their hardware, if you know what I mean. No, that's a lie, but we're going to be there, and you should come and say hello to us. We'll be around there somewhere, and we have a table Or at least Dragon Mirror and Wasted Memory have a table. So try to find the table. It's around there someplace. You can find out more about the meetup at rogueserver.com. Somewhere. I just went there. I don't see anything about it. In other news, we're going to do Ding Timber this year. I'm going to attempt it anyway. And I haven't worked out the details of that. The main thing I need to do is get a new phone number set up on my Google Voice number. And that'll be the phone number that you put on notes. But some of you may be asking, what is Ding Timber? That's where you put notes on cars... They say, I'm sorry I dinged your car. Please give me a call back. My phone number is whatever the phone number is that I give you guys. And you sign the name Roy. And then I talk to the people who try to pull insurance scams on me. It's a lot of fun. But I got to set up that phone number first. That means I definitely have to do a show this week or next. You know, another snowplow show. So I can give all the details on that. So hopefully I actually get to that. And I'm going to be on the road for part of Ding Timber at least. But I will still be doing Ding Timber stuff from the road. I'll be answering calls and stuff. But more information in the next episode. Once I figure it all out, I feel like I had more announcements. But I guess that's it. So I guess it's time to make some phone calls. Thank you for calling Best Western Airport. Can I help you? Hey, uh, I'm a guest here. Yes, sir. Did you know you still have incandescent lights in the room? Have what? Incandescent light, light bulbs. Can you explain what that is to me? I'm sorry. Uh, well, there's basically three different kinds of light bulbs. There's incandescents. Those are the old ones that get really okay. hot and they burn your hands. Oh, wow. And they put off a lot of radiation. And then yes, there, there's, 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 under- there's those curly ones, like little fluorescent CFLs. Yes, sir. What room are you in? Um, well, I, I'm not. I'm actually in the electrical room right now. I'm trying to figure out which breaker switch belongs to my room because I, I want to turn off the power so I can unscrew this incandescent bulb out of the ceiling and bring it down. Hold on. Let, let me make sure I'm understanding I'm, right. Okay. So you are a guest. Yeah. And you are in the electrical room? Yeah. You know the room that has all those switches in it? Okay. Hold on one moment. And, Hello. Um, Hello. So I... I can actually um, bring lights to your room. And oh, fix I, the light. I, I was gonna bring one. I was gonna bring this one down. You're gonna bring one down. Yeah, I just got to get my power off first. I've been hitting all these switches. The power off. Yeah, well, you know, so it's safe to change the light no, no, bulb. No, 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 no! Don't hit no switches. Oh no, I've, no I've already been hitting switches. I, I've noticed. Oh no, 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 no! Look, look, you're Ma'am, What? 
go back to your room. What room are you in? Uh, well, no, I don't need you to come up. That's silly. I, I can come down and. Bring... Well, it's silly that you're in the electrical room and you're a guest. So. I know, um, well, I know how to use a breaker switch. I'm just trying to figure yeah, out which, you ha- which room I is I do mine. apologize to you. I do apologize to you, but. Um, I, I accept your apology. Uh, yeah, thank you, but um, I, we, I need to help you, and I don't want you to get electrocuted or anything, and that's again, well, no, that, more that's, than likely. That's why I'm oh. shutting off the breakers, and th- that way I won't get electrocuted no, 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 when I'm unscrewing the light bulb. Okay, you're scaring me. Why am I scaring oh. you? I'm doing this the safe way. I'm an, um, I'm an adult. I know how to change a light bulb. I know, but you don't need to go into the breaker room and do stuff like that. Do you want me to just unscrew the bulb with, with the electricity running no, in, well, into this, it? This, this, this is what I want you to do for me. I want you to come out of that breaker room. Okay, well, I just have I to... Want... Should I turn these switches back on? I've turned a lot of switches off. Have, have I have I interrupted any power down there? Um, um, Are you Okay. No, I'm not okay right now. Why? What's wrong? Because you're messing with stuff that you shouldn't be touching with. Okay, well, ma'am, I know how to use a breaker box. It's just, it's like a light switch. Yeah, but this is this is this isn't a hotel. Establishment. This is not something that. But it's sideways. If it was your home, your personal home, I could understand. Yeah, but I mean, there there's an incandescent. Ma'am, you didn't even know what an incandescent bulb was. Come on, you're saying I don't know okay. what I'm doing. Okay, well, this this is what I'm saying. Like, that's not the point about the light bulb. We have I know the light bulbs are here, mm-hmm. and I could have brought them to you, and we could have had this fixed in a whole different level. Um, if I break but, uh, this light bulb, if I bring this down, like you're, you're going to give me an LED bulb, right? Like one of those brand new LED bulbs. Well, see, I, I, you shouldn't be in the breaker room because this is in the hotel. I can barely hear you. Like what? Okay. This is a hotel establishment. This is not your home. I know. So for your address, you have no right to be in the um, electrical room. Do you know, do you know how much heat these these light bulbs put off though? These incandescent bulbs. Okay, well you call the front desk. Therefore, we you being the guest, we could assist you with helping you change the light bulb. You're gonna save so much in air conditioning bills. You know, once I get this changed. And what room are you in so I can bring you light bulbs? No, I don't need you to come up and bring me a light bulb. I'll just. <laughs> I'll just come down. So just let me uh, figure out which switch is mine, and uh, and then I'll I'll unscrew that bulb, and and also the CFL. One of the lamps has a CFL in it, and then I'll just need to trade those for two, two, two of those. Uh, what is going on? I okay, s- go ahead and come down, and let me get you that. Okay, thank you. Okay, but look, ma'am, man, what was all that racket? Was that her cell phone ringing or something? So hey everybody, I'm currently staying in a hotel in Texas, somewhere very close to Boca Chica. I just went down there today and took a bunch of pictures of rockets and stuff. That was kind of fun, but I've stayed in quite a few hotels down here, more than I had planned to. I hate spending money on hotels, but the heat down here kind of makes it required. I can't be sleeping out on the streets like a hobo when it's this hot. So of course I've gotten a few ideas for prank calls to make to hotels. And that's what I'm doing today. Calling up some hotels, I guess. Unless this gets boring, then I'll do something else. But I want to try that one again. I actually did find an incandescent bulb at one of my hotels during my stay. I, I, you know, I don't actually give a shit. I just left it in there. If they want to be psychopaths and use incandescent bulbs, which are totally illegal now. But, you know, it's, it's not illegal to have them. It's just illegal to sell them in stores. This desk I'm sitting at in my room right now, there's a lamp next to me. And it has an LED bulb in it, but it's one of those super bright, you know, like just completely white. There's no yellow to it. It's the worst kind of light bulb they could put in a room, but it seems like a lot of hotels use these. I bet you they're just the cheapest ones or something. Well, that was rude. They picked up and immediately put me on hold. Let me try right back. Hi. Motel 6, how may I help you? That was weird. Before, when I called, uh, someone picked up, but they just put me on hold. They didn't say anything. Yeah, I have a couple of people in the lobby. That's why. Oh. Well, I mean, just don't pick up then. Jeez. Well, how can I help you? Oh, I'm in a room right now. I'm a guest here. Okay. And I have opened up the little box in the wall where the phone line is, and there's all okay. these other phone lines coming through behind it. You We're know? only you, so I pissed that maintenance. 
No, no, I don't need maintenance. I'm just saying I, I've i split open all these phone lines. and I, Okay, I'm going to try to brief home because I do have somebody in front of me, okay, bud? Ma'am, don't, don't do that. Well, how can I help you? But you're telling me you don't want me to come take a look at it. I don't. Well, see no, I'm trying to find out. Is there is there something I okay, can dial? Okay, sure, I'm about to put you on a brief hold though. Well, I you're not listening to me. I'm just start, trying to ask a simple question. Hello. Hello. Oh, nice. He took me off of hold for me to listen to him. Reserver. Oh, there. We're back on hold. That was weird. All right. I'm just going to hang up on that one. It's very poor customer service. I need to do that prank to a taller hotel anyway to make it more realistic that there'd be a lot of phone lines behind my wall because that would just be silly otherwise. Here's one right here. It's perfect. Thank you for calling residents in downtown. This is Francis. How can I help you? Hey, Francis. Um, I have a question. About my my phone line here in my room, I'm a guest here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I took the uh, you know the cover off of the phone line thing, you know where the the phone plugs into. Okay. And uh, behind there, there's a whole bunch of wires, and I've I've you know taken the the insulation off of each one, and I've been just testing each one, and I seem to have access to about a dozen phone lines for different rooms here in the hotel. Okay. And is there something I can dial that'll tell me what the phone numbers are or what, what room numbers I've gained access to? Uh, no. So I'm, what room are you in? Uh, well, I don't even want to come up. I'm, I'm just, I was just trying to figure out if, you, you know, like I have all these different phone lines here in my room. I, I was trying to figure out what they are. Yeah. Um, I have yeah. no idea. There has to be something you can dial, right? Yeah, my question is, why would you want to? Uh, just curiosity, curiosity sake, mostly. Uh, could we but, not do that? <laughs> well, I've already done it, though. Like, I stripped all the insulation off the wires, and I've, I've, okay. mar- I've well, marked the ones that are... I mean, don't worry, I, I didn't break anyone's phone lines in their room. I, I just... Uh, no, no, what, what's your last name? So that, just, so, just so I, like can kind of look to see what rooms are around you. I could probably give you some information like that. Oh, no, I, I think it would be straight up and down mostly, but also, like, like it, it doesn't work. Like, I don't think it would work like that. Don't be silly. But, like, if I had a caller ID box, would that work? Maybe I should go to Walmart and buy a caller ID box? Um, I'm not sure. I, I'm, I don't really know. Huh. I might have to do that. I'll just get one of those... Those fancy cordless phones with the with caller ID okay. on it, you know. Um, so you it, took the 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 panel off the wall. That's what I'm understanding, correct? Yeah, like the little phone jack thing. It looks like an electrical outlet, but it's all low voltage back there. It's nothing that can hurt me. Well, unless it rings, then that hurts. But it didn't actually, you know, damage my body. Yeah. Can, what's your room number, sweetheart? Just because I know I, that there's water inside of the walls right now, so I don't want you to get hurt. Water so inside have, of the walls. Yes, because of the rain from yesterday. Oh, no, I haven't so, seen any of that in here. And don't worry, these are all low-voltage lines. Nothing's... No, no, no. I, no, now I'm worried. I need to know what room you're in, sweetie. Why, why would you be worried? These are low-voltage lines. Uh, they, like, I think it's like a, a, <laughs> it, it tops out at like 90 volts. It's definitely not something that, um, it's, it's a something, it's something that I'm worried about, just because I don't think somebody would go into our wall panel and open the walls like, to see the cords. So what room oh, are no, you in? I, I do this in a lot of hotels that I stay in. I'm not damaging anything though. Like I'm, I'm gonna tape it all back up. I have electrical tape, and um, I, I just want to. I would feel. I would honestly. I would just feel a little bit more secure. And then for insurance purposes, we would need to know. Just we can't just tape it up with electrical tape. I would have to have my maintenance okay. man go in. I have a question. What happens if I make long distance phone calls on a room's phone line, but nobody ever checks into that room? Um. Who, who you they, would get charged. No, we, I, like, no, no, they wouldn't know that it's me. Why would you make... Sweetheart, what's your room number? I'm just, I'm just saying what if. Because if, if I make... I, I don't know what if. That would, honestly, my maintenance man would be able to go up and give you all the information you would, you would oh, want. Oh, no, no, no. If he sees this, he will freak out. I don't want that. But, okay, sweetheart. Um, 
so what are you are you a resident here or are you just a person who's kind of like messing with me today what no i wouldn't mess with you like that i'm a christian ma'am i'm just trying to explain like a situation if you're if if you actually taken the wires out of the wall and um have access to multiple phone lines that's something that's kind of serious okay well i'm not going to do anything weird with it okay like i I won't listen in to other people like who uses their okay she hung up i was gonna say who uses their phone in their room anyway pretty much nobody two of the hotels i've stayed in didn't have phones in the rooms even though on one of them when i called the hotel it's like if you want to direct dial into a room push this button but then i get into the room and there's no phone like what the hell they're messing with us and i wonder if that means i could have brought my own phone and plugged it into the wall and then call the front desk and they'd be like what the hell you have a phone in your room still? <laughs> like, no, I brought my own. And I actually do have two old phones from the 1970s or 80s here with me in my bag. That's going to be for the meetup in Chicago, the Vintage Computer Fair Midwest. On the 9th and 10th of September, we're bringing these phones to display on our table. But the rotary dial, how would I call the front desk? I don't think that would work. I'd have to play touch tones for my computer. Yeah, this is getting too complicated. Never mind. Anyway, I have not actually been getting into the phone lines of my hotel rooms that I've been staying at. I haven't even used the phones because why would I? But that's a great way to uh, direct dial rooms if you ever stay in a hotel. You just find some extra phone lines in your wall and start making prank calls and one of your neighbors will get blamed for it all. And the way to figure out what their room number is, is you call the front desk from their line and just be like, Hey, what's my room number? I don't feel like opening my door. And they'll tell you. Hello, Dan. No, this is Marco. Hey, Marco. I'm a guest here. I'm staying here. You know? Yes, sir. How may I help you? Uh, I bought a bunch of caulk, you know, uh, for the walls. You found a bunch of caulk? Caulk. Don't, don't be uh, obscene, sir. Caulk. No, you, that's you know, like... I'm, I'm, I'm not. I asked, that's what I asked. You found a bunch of caulk. Yeah, I, I have went over to Walmart. I didn't find it. I went to Walmart and I bought it. I bought like uh, seven tubes of it. I'm sealing up all of the seams everywhere in my room, in the bathroom, on the walls, because I'm really afraid there's going to be cockroaches. Do you want to come down to the front desk, sir? No. uh, I wanted to find out, like, you know, there's a lot of uh, electrical outlets in here that aren't even used. So would it be okay if I sealed up the holes on those? Where you plug things in? Sir, what room are you in? Well, I don't even want to come up to my room. I'm just trying to ask a question. Sir, but what room are you in, sir? Uh, well, I just explained that I don't need anybody to come up to my room. I'm just. Trying I understand to, that, sir, but I am a supervisor. Do you need to know what room you're question. in? So, uh, like, is that? Should I just do that then? No, sir. Just you do not it? have permission to do that. Okay. Well, I'm sealing up everything because I see like little little uh, areas where cockroaches could climb through and i haven't seen any cockroaches yet but you know it's texas so i'm just i'm just uh, being prepared so i'm sealing up everything you know there's like all along the floors sir you do not have permission to do that uh you know where the beds on the floor i sealed up around the bed let me hand you to, let me hand you to my manager Oh, okay. Thanks, Marcus. Should I say cockroaches instead of cockroaches? Hello, in downtown Marina. This is Ariel. How can I help you? Hi, Ariel. I was talking to Marcus. Yes, sir. So how can we help you? Uh, I have a caulk gun. Do you know what that is? Yes, sir. I do. Okay. Yeah, I've just been sealing up all of the seams inside the room. And Marcus was yelling at me about it and trying to get my room number. Yes, sir. So we'd ask that you please don't do any preventative maintenance in the room, anything like that. We can have someone take care of that for you. And if you feel like but, it's an issue where you have to do it yourself, then it, the best thing that we can advise is moving your room to a room that's better than the one that you're in. Well, no, there, we, there's. I, I looked at the next door neighbor's room and it's got like a lot of seams in it too, like right along the bottom of the walls. How huh? did you look at the next door neighbor's room? Like, are you saying like from outside or from the inside? Of the oh room? no, I, I used a butter knife to open the door. What do you, how, there, how did you use the butter knife to open the door? There was nobody in there. It doesn't matter. 
I, I'm just saying. You know, it, it does matter because that's a security issue. If you can use a butter knife to open the door, and all of our doors, they they don't open with a butter knife. You have to use a key. To uh, you should look on the internet, ma'am. These doors definitely do open with a butter knife. But, okay, um, they don't. Um, so is can we need to go up to the room because now it's a security issue. If you're able to get into other rooms with a butter knife, then I'm not, not going to okay. go in anyone else's room. I just I I'm just saying but I you looked. Did. Yeah, but you but, did. In order for you to look into the room, you went into another room, and that's a major security. Okay, you you're that you're, you're losing sight of the whole situation here. That I was no, I understand the situation that you have right now with the caulking issue in the room. I do, but now you've brought up another security issue and the fact that you can get into another room with a butter knife, and that is not okay. We need to make sure that that is not. Happening. I think it's a security issue that caulk roaches can, they can like just kind of shimmy underneath the. The, the we walls. don't have roaches at the hotel, sir. We just had pest, pest control come yesterday. Okay, no, I'm not we trying to say you have roaches, but I'm, it's just just in case, because you know, like any hotel's gonna claim they don't have roaches, but I, I know we're in Texas and it's just unavoidable, sometimes. Yes, sir. It they, is unavoidable sometimes, but we don't have that issue in the rooms. I can swear to you on, you know, whatever religion well, it is, even, but we don't have roaches in the room. So this, what this, you're doing now is not okay. We can't have you doing preventative maintenance well, in the room. Well, now you're trying to tell me this is a magical room that a cockroach is un unable to get into. That doesn't make any sense at all. Like, you know, there's cockroaches exist, you know. Yes, sir. I do understand that, but what you're doing right now in the room, we cannot allow you to continue to well, do in the room. I've and almost like finished. Said, my, I've almost okay, finished. My, your... my question for Marcus was... Like the electrical outlets, the ones that aren't being used, can can I can I just seal those up? You know the little no, the sir, three holes you for the plugs. Because no. no. there, there's so many outlets in here, and I, I sealed around the edges of them. Okay, but, if that's the case, in order for us to better help you with the rest of your stay, we do need to know the room number so that way we can go up and we can take a look at that, and we can have our maintenance staff fix that for you because we cannot allow you to continue to fix it. Okay, well, I'd rather just uh, not tell you my room and okay, well, finish what I'm... Okay, well, now it's a security issue, sir, and you have to tell us the room because that's not okay. You're, you've allowed yourself into another room with a butter knife, and that is not okay. What if I was just kidding so about that part? What if I was just kidding about that part? Well, how do I know that you're not kidding about everything else, sir? We need to know your room number. Well, I could just make up a room number. Okay, well, I have your phone number here, sir. This is just going to be a constant conversation that we're having all day, sir. So we need to know the room number that you're in. Um, can you look up by my phone number and see what my room number is? Yeah, I can, but okay, I'm trying to do that. ask you what the phone... Okay, you know what? We will. Thank you. Oh, no, just stay on the phone with me and tell me. <laughs> oh, weird. She couldn't tell me. It's like she's full of crap. I actually did have roaches at one of my hotels... And that's exactly what was happening. They were just crawling out from underneath the walls. But they weren't like big roaches. They were just like these cute little tiny ones that came out at night and crawled around all over the floors. And it was pretty disgusting. And I zipped up all my bags and put them up high and made sure nothing was touching the ground from, from the bed. But surprisingly, it was just one place. I'm only staying in a really shitty you know, two-star hotels on my trip because I get amazing deals for hotel prices and I'm the biggest cheapskate ever. Plus two-star hotels are just more interesting, you know, even if you have bugs. But I was expecting roaches in this room because there are a lot of seams in here for things to crawl through. Pretty big seams, in fact. But this room has been great. I haven't seen anything scary in this room. I get in and treat my help you. Hello, I'm a guest here. I have a question. Hello? Yeah. Hi there. I'm a guest here. I have a question. Uh-huh. Uh, I've been taking Vaseline and smear... Uh -huh. I've been taking Vaseline. You know what Vaseline is? Uh-huh. I've been smearing it on all of the walls and the ceiling and the floor. Uh, just pretty much everywhere in my room. I went over to Walmart and got a whole bunch of it. Hello? What room are you in, sir? Oh, well, I don't need one to come up to my room. Uh, I just I have a question. I have a question. Sir, can you turn off your ringtone, please? Okay, go ahead. Oh, uh, am I allowed to smear Vaseline 
all over the fire fire alarm detector thing up in the ceiling, up on the wall. I don't, I, I don't understand you exactly. What do you, what are you trying to say? Uh, I've been smearing Vaseline all over everything in my room. And Vaseline? I wanna, yes, Vaseline. been smearing it all over the place, on the lamp, on the TV, on the air conditioner, on the bed. I'm just taking big globs of it in my hand and smearing it all over my room. So what was your question now? Okay. Uh, can I smear big globs of Vaseline on the sprinklers in the ceiling? We don't have a sprinkler, sir. Oh. What is this thing then? Oh, is that a smoke detector? Can I smear, yes. can I smear Vaseline all over the smoke detector? What room are you in? Uh, I plead the fifth. Hmm? I am pleading the fifth. I am exercising my right to not answer that question. But um, you didn't answer my question. Can I smear globs of Vaseline on my smoke detector? So you you mean you can do something? Uh, you can cover. You like to cover the smoke detector? Yeah, with Vaseline. You know that slimy stuff. Uh, they don't allow for the fire people. They don't allow to do that. Okay. Well, I guess even even a little bit. Uh, as uh, as I know, I told you, but uh, later than that. I need to know what room are you in also. Listen and here, what, you motherfucker. Yeah. I told you. I'm not telling you my room number. Sorry, then uh, you supposed to tell us what room are you in staying. I refuse so, to tell you what room I'm in staying. Okay, then. God damn it, you motherfucker. Son of a bitch. Sir, behave yourself. Behave myself? Is that what he said to behave myself? Let's try the hotel down the street from that guy. Thank you for calling. Makita, how may I help you? Hi, I'm a guest here. I have a uh -huh. question. Mm -hmm. uh, your phone system here in the hotel, do you know what make and model number that is? Oh, um, no, sir. Oh, do you know where like all the phone lines, you know, like where the central hub is, where they all go into? Uh, no, I do not. Is that in the one of the electrical rooms? I, I went into one of the electrical rooms. I didn't see any phone lines in there. You're a guest here and you went into the phone room? No, not the phone room. Just uh, it said in mechanical room. I think okay. by the door. And, and what is it that you're looking for? Oh, I was trying to figure out which um, which brand mm -hmm. of uh, PBX phone system this hotel uses. And for what? Uh, well, I've I've opened up the phone jack in my wall in my room. Okay. And there's a bunch of phone lines back there. And I've tapped into them all, but I have no idea how to tell what phone line is what. So there must be like a code I can dial. But what's the purpose of that? What's the purpose of that for? I mean, what, I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm, confused. I'm, I'm just bored. I don't. Really? I don't have anything to do oh, until no, tomorrow. I'm, I'm, yeah, no, no. You you shouldn't be tapping into any phone lines in the property at well, all. Well, I'm not. I'm probably not going to listen to the other guests' phone calls. It's just I have. Oh, and what room are you in? I have access to like 14 lines here. What room are and you in? I have no I no idea how to identify them. Um, do you know if I were to use a a phone with caller ID on it, would that? Would what room are you in? I don't want to say. Okay, well, I'm not going to help you. Why not? Uh, I'm not going to help you. Can Can you just tell me what brand? No, of, I can't. I, no. Well, or I mean, tell me where it is. Like, no. It, is it like in a back office or? No. Where is it? No. Why not? Because that's what, what, why are you even doing that? That's really weird. I wanted to look up the manual online, and that way I'll oh, what know. Room are, what room number are you in? I'll know all the secret codes I can dial. What room number are you in? Um, I plead the fifth. Okay, then I can't help you anymore. <sighs> no, you're just being a jerk. Did she hang up? I think she hung up. Just being a total jerk. Here, let me try something. <clears throat> Thank you for calling the King Tom. May I help you? Why, hello there. This is Dave Patterson from the corporate office with La Quinta Inn. 
Okay. And I need to find out what brand of PBX phone system your hotel is currently using. We may have to upgrade. <laughs> that didn't work. Surprisingly enough, I bet you it would have worked if I had made that call first. You know, that's what I need to do. I need to, like, before I check into a hotel, find out what their system is. And there's got to be a bunch of, like, cool codes and stuff you can dial on their phones. I mean, they'd probably see who's dialing. But that's why I would get into the walls and, you know, pick another phone line. Because I know my asterisk system, it has a bunch of codes I can dial. Like the one that lets you listen into everybody's phone calls. That's how I listen to people calling into Beverly. So I may have to try that if I stay in another hotel on this trip. Thank you for calling. Nobody is available to take you. Darn it. I'm just trying to reach guests now. But it's a little early. It's like... Thank you for calling Wood Spring Suites in Texas. For reservations, please press 1. To dial a guest, please press 2. To connect to the front desk, please hold and you will be transferred. I think we're calling Wood Spring Suites. Yeah, can I help you? Hey, uh, I need to find out which one of your rooms has a guest in it right now. Like where they would pick up the phone. I've been I've been calling in and just trying random guests, and I am not having any luck. Uh, I'm sorry, you're trying to call random guests. Yeah, I'm from the IT department. You're just testing, um, uh, testing the phone lines, testing the PBX. Mm-hmm. So I actually don't think most of the phones in the room work. Oh really? Yeah, we have put in um, on our like monthly reports that they don't work to corporate so they know about it but um does anyone even use them anymore uh the ones that do work yes they they use oh but i couldn't tell you exactly what room numbers are being are you yeah well do you know just like one room number that has someone in it that i could be transferred to uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm I don't to... think we can transfer on this phone. I'm... Oh, well, I, can oh. Just, I could call back in and and dial the room. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wouldn't be able to help you out much there if I don't know what phones work and which ones don't. I know, but we could just guess because I might just be calling rooms that don't have anybody in them. Yeah, uh, most of our, we're at 80% occupancy, so most of our rooms, uh, a lot of rooms on the, our first floor. That's a 20% failure occupied. rate. <laughs> yeah, a lot of rooms on our first floor are occupied, so I would try that. Do you know what the name of your uh, PBX phone system is? Uh, I don't. Like, like, is it is it in the back room there? Like, you know, it's got I'm a bunch. Of, is is it like in the back room or something? Like, if you go back there, you, you can see a bunch of phone lines. You know, it's like the main phone line thing. No, no, I don't oh, know what, exactly. What about on your switchboard? Does it have a a brand on that? Mm, no, I. Let me see. Just turn the whole no. thing, turn the whole thing upside down. What could go wrong? Yeah, I'm sorry. I wouldn't be able to help you out much there. You could email our GM, and she might have that information for you. Okay, I'll email the gym. Okay, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, one more thing. I love you. I'm sorry? I said that I love you. Okay. This conversation we've had has been really eye-opening, and I think I'm in love with you. Okay. Marry me, please. You have a great day. Uh, can you say I love you back? You're making this awkward. <laughs> so that's crazy. That This is a big hotel. And she's at 80% capacity. I think, is she the one that said that? And it's a four-story hotel, and it's pretty huge. But they can't keep their phones working? Why can't they keep their phones working? That's the easiest thing in the world to do. Especially if people are actually using them. So that's just weird that none of their phones work. Thank you for calling Homewood Suites. How can I help you? Hey, I have a, a question. I'm a, I'm a, yes. guest, I'm a guest here. Okay. And I found um I found another guest keys laying uh you know just kind of in the hallway. You know like has uh, all their all their keys on it. There's like a good 15 keys on here and there's a couple different Oh, car- a set like a set of actual keys? Yeah, somebody's key. It's like a lady's keys cuz there's like a billion rings on it. Oh. And uh okay. You know, stupid little fluffy and anyway, 
I I went all over the parking lot. I tried those keys in every car until I found out which one they belonged to. Mm -hmm. And I got in their car and I started it up. Okay. And then I, I locked the doors. I just left the engine running and I left the air conditioner on high. Okay. Just to teach them a lesson. You know, like, be a responsible adult. Don't be dropping your your stuff out around where other guests can find it. What a uh, what room number are you in? Oh, I'm I'm not even in a room right now. I just I just did that, so I'm outside still. But, oh, okay, why didn't you just bring the keys to the front? Because then they wouldn't learn a lesson. They'll probably just lose them at their next hotel. So they're probably so, gonna have, uh, they're gonna need to call like AAA or something like that. To, so you lock the you you turn the car on and you lock the door from the inside so they can't get in. Yeah, yeah, no, they're not going to be able to get in there. And um, I turned on the air conditioner, so after it runs out of gas, and there wasn't much gas in there either, so it's not going to be a long time. I, I also um, I pushed down on the gas a little bit on the gas pedal. I, I just got some heavy stuff in there from the back. So I'm just saying, okay. like they're going to be confused about what happened. I don't want them to be, you know, worried or anything. Just so let them know that another guest found their keys, and they're running them out of gas, and uh, it's going to discharge their battery too. Because because the AC's okay. on and the fans are on, and it doesn't take long for for you know the battery to run down after the gas is gone. And you're you're a guest here. Yes. What room are you in? I'm outside. I already told you that. But like, what room? Like, what room are you in here? Oh, I don't see any reason. I don't need you to come up to my room. But like, why would you do that? I do. To teach them a lesson, because I mean, you know, they're they're grown ass adults. They have kids and everything, yeah, and they like they it. can't even take care of their own keys. I think they should get their kids taken away from them. That's a dick move, though. Yeah, but they're what are they going to do next? Lose their kids? But like, I just don't understand why somebody would do that. Well, it's it's basically the Christian thing to do. Like, you don't want to just let them begin away with stuff like this. So but it's not very Christian of you to do that. Oh no, it is. It's, it's it's in the Bible. You know, like uh, okay. there's some verse that says something like I don't know. I'm just saying. They're going to be out of gas and out of a battery. And sometimes that ruins the batteries if you let them drain all the way down. So just tell them, I'm sorry about that, but they're not going to learn unless they're taught a lesson. And you know what? At the next hotel they're in, they're going to be holding on to those keys. I mean, if I were a, a real jerk, I would have just thrown their keys in the river. You would have just did what? I'd thrown their keys in the river. Okay. All right. And that wouldn't have been nice. That's why I didn't do All that, because right. I'm not a dick. All right. I got it. So their car is out here. It's running. and But it won't be running for long. Because I, okay. right. I pushed down on the accelerator pedal, and it's, can I play two, can it's I play revving up. Oh, yeah. Why? Wait, what's, okay, sure. This is a really quiet hold. This is Rick. Come to help you. Hey, Rick. Hold on. I was on hold for so long, I started up a game of Lemmings on my phone. That's one of those levels with lasers on it. Okay. There. I'm good. I, I paused it. Um, how can I help you? I don't know. You called us. Oh. Uh, well, I was talking to somebody else. I don't think I needed to talk to you. What can I do for you, sir? I'm the manager of the property. I don't need anything. I, I just I already okay. explained everything to that other guy. Did he tell you what's going on? Okay. With the van. So where are you at, or what is it, or what's going on? Where is the car at? Where are you at? What? What's he saying in the background? He's checking in a guest. He's not oh. talking to me. He's checking in a guest. That's why. Okay. What can I do for you? Uh, I don't need anything. He'll explain everything to you. I okay. explained it very clearly. Okay. Anything else that I can assist you with? Uh, can you let that previous employee know that he is incompetent? Because he did not explain to you what's going on. He just blindly he handed you the phone. What? 
I don't know who you are. We don't know who you are, sir. Something about the keys that you found that you locked yeah. them inside of the car. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a guest and, here. I'm a guest here. I found their keys. Okay, and that's what I'm asking you. I'm sorry that, that you get irritated, but we're we get calls like this sometimes. They're a scam. We don't know what's going on. So, I'm not a scammer. Uh, I'm a Christian. They, they, I'm a Christian. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, well, I'm, I'm a Christian. Catholic. I'm letting you know. I'm a Christian, sir. I'm not a scammer. Okay. I'm, stay, okay. I'm staying know, in my room. Sir, you still don't tell me who you are, so I don't know what car you're talking about. I don't need anyone to, to look me up or come up to my room or anything like that. I just... No, I, no, no, I, and I, I won't. Told, that's why... I told him about the keys, and okay. that's the end. Okay. Everything um, was taken what care car of. Was it? What? Okay. Very good. I appreciate it, sir. Okay. Thank you for being so nice. Thank All right. You. You're welcome. I love you. Bye. Please say it back. Was that the previous guy that came on and said, what car is it? They're going to go out there and search for the car. And let me see. What's the temperature right now? It is currently 90 degrees, but it feels like 106. But it's cool. They're used to it. They live here. I'm the one that can't handle that kind of heat. This heat down here has been the worst. Thanks for calling Days and Gerald speaking. I'm going to help you out. Hey, Gerald. Um, What brand and model number of PBX phone system do you have here at the hotel? Uh, who's calling, please? Uh, I'm a guest. I'm staying here in the hotel right now. What room are you? Oh, well, I, I don't need anyone to come up. Well, I, I'm, I, I, I'm not going to give out information on the hotel. Oh, why not? I thought that would just be a normal thing to ask. But it's not. Okay. Um, there's an incandescent uh, light bulb in my ceiling. I'm sorry? There's an incandescent light bulb in my ceiling. What room are you? 225. I don't even want to come and get it. Uh, it's just a little weird. That's definitely a little weird. We don't need to note that, but yeah. uh, what was the name? That thing puts out a lot of heat. Okay. There's so I, nobody in room 225 here at this hotel. No, I said uh, the 20, 20, 25, but I'm on. I'm not on the second floor. Uh, it's on the first floor. What room are you? Sir, I don't need anyone to come up. In my, I already put Vaseline all over the light bulb. That'll dampen the heat. Okay, sir, here's the thing. Okay. The, the room number you're, you're giving me, there's nobody in the in that room. I don't want you to come up. Well, I, I don't think that you're here on this property at all. Oh, you don't think I'm on the property? If you are, tell me who you are. I'm on 39 Island Drive. Who are you? None of your business. It is my business if you're telling me there's something in the room and you're putting Vaseline on it. Well, no, just to dampen the heat. Because you know how much heat those incandescent bulbs put out? And those are illegal now. Are you guys still buying those somewhere? Like, what store do well, you... Well, that's, that, that, that's the thing. We don't have light bulbs on our ceilings. And this one you do. Well, what room is it? Well, you should know which room has a ceiling fixture in it. What? room are you in i am not going to tell you then what good is you for you why are you even bothering to call i was calling to find out the the pbx make and model Brand and why should i give that to you if you're not a guest here well you said you're no i am a guest there then so, tell me what room you're so in if i was a guest you would tell me that information maybe that's but weird. we have to start somewhere. Why would you tell a customer that? That's weird. Why would why would I tell a random person that isn't a customer that? I could do a lot more damage to the PPX if I was on property than if I was just, you know, some random guy in the United States calling a random hotel. Why don't you just tell me who you are? Uh, I'm a guest here. And What's your name? I don't want to tell you my name or my room number because you're being very aggressive. Sounds, I wasn't being aggressive. It sounds when like we started you're gonna this. come up to my room and drag me out and like beat the crap out of me. I don't want that. You see, at this point, I'm uh, I'm just annoyed that you are asking me for person for information on the hotel and you're not telling me even what room you're in. It was, you're telling me that there's a problem in the in the room. You're not telling me what room it's in. It's so not I can a, at least write it down. It's not a problem, really. It I, is a problem if you're if it's something you felt you had to put Vaseline on a light bulb about. That just dampens the heat. That's all. Uh, again, if it's a if it's such a problem, you had to tell me about it. Why won't you tell me what room it is so I can write it down I was and just, have it fixed later? I was just changing the subject because you wouldn't give me the PBX information. I don't think you're on this property at all. Oh, I am on this property. 
then tell me what room you're in. Uh, no. But um, I, all I wanted was the model number so I could look it up online and read the instruction manual. It's not a big deal. It is kind of a big deal. Because I wanted to find out what the default codes were. Yeah, you see, you, you want to try to be able to bypass stuff and change things. Yeah. See? Yeah. Uh, I need to know what room you're in. <laughs> that would be so fucking awesome. I got to do this at my next hotel. I mean, I mean oh, hey, oh, tell me this. When you change the, uh, the, the outgoing message that people hear when they call in, can you do that from any phone? What room are you? Uh, I don't want to say. Don't... Uh, because you're not here. Okay. You're, you're probably, I, I doubt you're even in the city. You just keep telling yourself that, sir. Well, you, you, at I, this I, point, I've... it sounds to me like you're just socially engineering, trying to get through stuff. It's social so engineering. Can, it's not socially engineering. It's it's actually kind of both. You know, you're, well, I'm just saying it, that the... It depends, the, on, it depends on the part of speech you're using. Look, sir, I was, uh, I was at DEF CON two weeks ago, and it is called social engineering. Nobody calls it socially engineering, and if they did, they, as in, they'd it, probably get it, their it, ass it kicked. It depends on the part of speech, you know. But that's besides the point. You are just trying to mess with our systems. No, 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 I can't do that unless I'm on the property, which I am. I mean, it, it, you're, you're giving me no reason to help you. Okay, well, no, you already told me you wouldn't help me. I'm not trying to talk you into it. But, That's whatever. But, you know, yeah, I, you're saying, if, if, you, if you're telling me the truth about this light bulb, that that's, we shouldn't even have these light bulbs anymore, tell me what room we're dealing with sir, it's not so illegal. I can write it down. It's not illegal to be using the light bulbs. It's just we illegal to, having it. to buy them. You know, just let it burn out. When it burns out, you can change it to whatever you use. Well, if if but you're telling me the truth, what room are we dealing with? Until that point, it's going to have a big glob of Vaseline all over it, just to dampen what just room? To, just to dampen the heat. That's all. What room? Unfortunately, that's also going to make the light bulb last a little bit longer because it's kind of like a heat sink, and it pulls the heat away. It doesn't make the uh, Little filament thing heat up as much and it lasts longer. You're welcome. What room are we dealing it with? It does not, however, save you any energy at all. It just What was... room are we dealing with? If I told you what room I was in, you would just say, Oh, I don't even believe you're on the property. Well, you you already given me a one room number and I know you're not there. Okay, yeah, I tried to trick you, it did not work. You win. So what room are you in? I'm not telling you, because you you sound you sound like a bully. You're gonna come and grab me out of my room, and I might have oh, yeah. I, I might I'm, have I'm to really defend strong myself. Enough for that. What room are you in? Remember that one time when I told you I'm not gonna tell you, and I gave you well, a reason. As long as you're keeping me on the phone, I'm gonna keep asking. Okay, I'm not keeping you on the phone. You can hang up anytime you want. What room are you in? Why don't you just look at your caller ID and uh, cross-reference that with people who've checked but, in? Because you could, you didn't call from the cup from the room. You called from some outside line. No, oh, but, but can't, uh, can't you just put that in into the computer and it'll show you who's got that phone number? Not necessarily. If you if it wasn't your phone number put into the system, but that's beside the point. Again, do what you know, room are you in? Do you know if all days ends? Do they all use the same phone system? It seems like I could just call up another days in and socially engineer them, and then I would know what you have. Nah, uh, that probably wouldn't work. Yeah, probably not. I'm <laughs> definitely not going to try that. But uh, what room are you in? Because it seems like a lot of hotels, they, they use the same types of PBXs from hotel to hotel. You know, the, the brands, the corporate ones, like Motel um, 6. They all use the I'm sure that, XR7. I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure there's actually thousands of different PBXs that are available. I don't think there's but thousands. That's beside, well, maybe not thousands, but but I'm sure there's a lot. Uh, so what room, what room are you in? I'm going to call up another day's in and try and get it out of them, and then I'll call you back, and you can tell me yes or no if I got the right one. I can ask you what room you're Cause in. Because I, I just want to read the manuals all. Uh-huh. That's It's not a big deal. Like, information is... Is a good thing to know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make myself smarter, that's all. That's all. Yeah, uh huh. What room what are room you are in? You? Ha! That's right. Jinx, you owe me a soda. No. But what room are you in? No, seriously, I want that soda, man. 
No, but seriously, I want to know what room you're in. You, you know, I could get free sodas from the machine down there. I just have to pour salt water in the coin slot. Shorts the whole thing out and gives me free sodas. Uh, if you, you, you know we have cameras on the uh, soda machine. Well, it doesn't matter because I'm not staying there. Well. I'm halfway across the country, right? Could I couldn't, be. I couldn't possibly be in your area. But if I saw someone pouring salt water into their soda machine, uh, I would definitely be calling the police. So I'm really fast, though. Yeah, you're not that fast. It's true. Yeah, you know, I, I, I go, go ahead and say it. I'm fat, okay? I get it. I'm fat. Hey, I got nowhere to talk. But what room are you in? Uh, I'm gonna hang up now. I love you. I've got codes to try on my phone in here. Okay, what room are you in? <laughs> Bye. I love you. Can you say I love you back, please? You're making it weird by not saying it. Well, I want to know what room you're in. What room are you in? Okay, bye. Jeez. He just got stuck on repeat mode. So on my home PBX system, on my Asterix free PBX, I can change the prompts around and stuff from any extension. Oh, wait, but I got to log in as admin to do that. Never mind. That wouldn't work. Wouldn't that be great, though, if there was just some star code you could dial from any motel room number and change that oh crap someone's calling me hold on is that him i think that's him hello gersperm residents brad speaking uh, you, yes what room are you in sir this is harassment i can't have you harassing me all night <laughs> just making sure that you knew that i do have the caller id oh okay well just so you know this is a burner phone I got it in Vegas yeah. while I was at DEFCON. Yeah, fair enough. Learning how to socially still. engineer. Yeah. But what room are you in? It's the the number is going to die uh, in about a month. About three weeks. Oh, right. well, that's plenty of time for me to call you back again then. Oh, no crap. Crap, crap, crap. What do I do? Okay, I confess. This was a prank call, and it's over now. Okay. You don't have to harass me. I don't want to have to call the police on you. Don't make me call the police. Don't make on me you. call. Oh, he hung up. Right as I was saying that. Let me check something here real quick. What room are you in? Ah, crud. I was just seeing if you had an automated system. I couldn't remember. All right, I'll let you go. I was going to try and direct dial a room. Direct dial a room. <laughs> I was going to teach him a lesson for harassing me. Thank you for calling Stabridge, yeah, please. Can I place you on a brief hold number with you in just a moment? Uh, but I've got Vaseline in my room. I'm smearing Vaseline all over everything. I'm sorry? Uh, you know, just for if there's roaches. I'm sorry? Vaseline. I've, I've smeared Vaseline all over the walls, the floor, the desk, uh, the refrigerator, the microwave, you know, just everything. Every surface. The TV, the air conditioner. Okay, why would you do something like that? Uh, it's like, so if there are roaches, they're probably going to get all stuck in that instead of coming to my bed. I'm, I'm leaving like a path around my bed. You know, like everything's fine. I just needed to find out if, can I put Vaseline on the, you know, the sprinklers? No. Well, it, they'll still work though, right? Like the water would overpower the Vaseline. If there were a fire, fire, did she, ma'am, she hung up, but at least I got her to not put me on hold. In town, please, how may I help you? Hey, I have a question about duct tape. Yes, sir, what can I do for you? Um, well, I put duct tape all over my room, like, um, you know, like I, I, What's your room number? what, I can't, it's hard to hear you, can you not what be, on, can I not be on speakerphone? What is your room number? I have to right now. I'm sorry. Is there guests in there? No, sir. Okay. So why What's you, going on? Why do you have to be? Your... Because I'm writing, sir, at the same time. I'm sorry, but I'm multitasking. Oh, do you use... Um, What's your room number so I can go check it out? Do you use both of your arms to write with? Because that's a little weird. Sir, I'm, I'm, yes, sir, I'm really busy, but I want, I'm willing to help you out. Give me oh, okay. uh, the room number so I can go out there. Uh, I don't need anyone to come up here. 
I, I was just wondering, like, uh, you know, I put duct tape all over the walls and floor and stuff to catch roaches. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, just in case mm-hmm. there, there weren't any roaches. But do I have to clean all this up tomorrow before I check out? What's your room number? Ma'am. So the answer is no. I don't have to clean it up. You do, sir, because you have a deposit, and you leave all that, you're not going to get your deposit back. Okay, well, I just curled the sides of, sides of the duct tape over, so the sticky side is up. So it's, like, all over the floors and all over the walls and all over the counters and around the bathtub and just everywhere. Sticky duct tape. Yeah, and we I, can't have that. I did catch one bug. But it was just, it wasn't even a roach. It was just like a, it it might actually just be some lint or something. Can I go up and look? No. But I just wanted to find out, like, because this is going to take forever to pull all this stuff up. And it's kind of, it's it's leaving. Okay, what's your room number? It's leaving duct tape. Oh, you don't want to give me your room number. It's leaving duct tape residue all over everything when I pull it up. So can the maids just deal with that? Just tell the maids to deal with it. Okay. What do you mean tell the maids to deal with it? What let, is your let, room number? Let those maids deal with it, because I don't want to do it. You know, I came here for a vacation. Well, that's your room. No, this is the, belongs to the hotel. It's the extended stay in town suites problem, not mine. What? Okay, so that's fine, sir. Whatever. If you want to leave your room like that, that's fine. Okay, I was just worried because I read the reviews and a lot of people were saying there's roaches, but then there was no roaches. I was pleasantly surprised, so thank you. Yeah, but people always people always want to lie and people, if they don't get their way, they're going to go and they're going to say things about you. You should know that already, but you know, I've had a few, whatever you want to do. I have quite a few (laughs) ex-girlfriends. Mm-hmm. That's how it is. That's how it is. But for the most part of it, um, if you don't want to remove it, that's okay. I mean, we'll deal with it. Like you said, let the girls deal with it. Okay. Thank you so much. I also put Vaseline all over everything. Uh-huh. Just okay. on, on the electronics, on the TV and the air conditioner what it, and the fire. You put it on the TV too? Yeah. I smeared uh, Vaseline. I had a lot of Vaseline. I smeared it all over everything. What? You know, just for roaches. So what is your room number, sir? I don't want to tell you because like, you're acting like you're angry. And you're talking sir, about my... The things that you're telling me, sir, the things that you're telling me that you're putting Vaseline on stuff, it's going to make anybody angry when you do that to somebody else's thing. Well, I'm not trying to make you angry. Like, I opened up uh, one of the, the lights, the lamps... And there was an incandescent bulb mm-hmm. in there. So that's what started it all. I, I put a big glob of Vaseline on that. Like a heat sink. Because you know how much heat those incandescent well, okay, bulbs... Okay, when, when are you checking out? Uh, tomorrow, when are you checking tomorrow, out? Tomorrow morning. What time's checkout? 11 a.m. Okay. Can I drag one of the trash cans up, up to buy my room uh, so I can start throwing all this duct tape in there? I don't know. You don't want to give me your room number so I can help you. One of the outside trash cans. I'll just, I'll just drag it up here and. There is no outside trash can, sir. Ah, well, I was hoping there would be. Because I've got a lot. Yeah, there isn't. A lot of duct tape. Where do people outside throw their trash? They throw it in the dumpster. What do the maids use? They use those, those gray carts, right? Where's those? Where do you keep those at? Yeah. Where, where, where can I find those? Sir, they're, uh, they're not available for anybody but them. You know what? Let's end this conversation. But what what room would they be Don't in? Don't worry about it. We'll clean up. We'll clean up. We'll clean up for you, okay? All the Don't duct tape. Don't worry about that. Thank you for Ma'am, it. I use nine rolls of duct well, tape. A, nine rolls. Nine rolls of duct tape. Okay. Well, we'll figure it out tomorrow when we get to your room and empty it out, okay? I duct taped like around my door, like all the seams every night before I went to bed. And then when I pull it off, okay. it kind of pe- That's fine. it peels some of the paint off. But I don't feel like that was my fault because I did that for roaches. So, okay, that's fine. Whatever you want to do, okay? 
Really? We'll deal with the. We'll I, deal with our consequences. Okay. I can do anything. I'm not within, sir. Come on, sir. Well, you, come on, sir. You said it, and and, and you're you're all being weird. You're talking. Why don't about, you just enjoy your? Why don't you enjoy your stay and please leave tomorrow at eleven o'clock? Thank okay, you. Okay, I will. I covered my phone in Vaseline. I don't know why I love telling them that I cover everything in Vaseline. It's just such a weird thing to do. And as a lot of you know, that's based on a true story that I read back in the day on the internets. Some guy actually coated everything in the room with Vaseline, and that pretty much destroys the room. Like, what can you do? You can't paint over it. It doesn't clean up. I should call her back and let her know that I put motor oil in the bed. Because I just figured that would kill the roaches if they came around. You know, the smell would be like a poison. It's a genius idea. When I was a kid, our basement had those water bugs that come out of the, the drain in the basement. I'm told now that those are actually roaches, but they didn't look like roaches. I mean, I guess they looked a little bit like roaches. But anyway, I used to put upside down duct tape on the floor around the basement, and I would catch so many water bugs and then just throw them in the trash. Saved my parents money on those roach motel things. You're welcome, Mom and Dad. At the last hotel I was in, I was sure I was going to have roaches, but I didn't at all just like this one but there are just roaches like outside my door walking up and down the sidewalk i don't know how they kept them out it was pretty weird good job last hotel you know what i think i'm gonna be done with calls right about now i've been doing these for exactly one hour and 59 minutes and 41 seconds according to my zoom pod track and i've got to edit this show down i'm gonna try and do voicemails this time on today's show so if i am able to do that that's what you're about to hear right now. <laughs> Gorge! Hey! This is Goofy! Oh, hey, Goofy. No, I'm just kidding. This is Alex from Myrtle Beach, ah. South Carolina. Oh, shit. I used to live and there. you've just won a full night stay in a porta potty Woo. Congratulations, Brad. You are today's lucky winner. Okay. Anyway. Thanks, Alex. Nice talking to you. All right, bye. <laughs> I'm playing my voicemails off of my phone today, and I don't like it. Hey, yeah, Brad. Hey, it's Ghost C C C. That's Yay. right, Ghost Triple C. Everybody's doing a voice today. It's my Logan. favorite. Hey, just wanted to call and tell you that I love you. I love your show. Uh, your show makes me, uh, uh, how hard? Rock hard. So okay. that's all I wanted to say. And, Great. Um, Thanks for that voicemail, you silly cartoon character. Hey, Brad. Long time supporter, over 10 years now, from Illinois, Chicago. Hey. Uh, just wanted to say here's You're going to be at the meetup, right? You're in Chicago. You got to go to the meetup. It's right next door. Nation for Pint Call, uh, you know, when you're calling up these liquor stores or these people that bought liquor, you should say that they're ordering a case of Bud Light. Yeah. You know, and try to target the Republican agenda there and see what they got to say about that. Okay. All right, Brad. Happy trails. I know I love putting politics into prank calls. That's my favorite thing to do. Holy shit, the voicemails are out of control. There's so many. I will never, ever catch up. I'm sorry, those of you that have left voicemails and you're sad that they're never played. It's nothing Brad, personal. It's the trash man. This is my second time calling in. See? And I'm here to tell Poor you... Poor trash man. I probably never played his first voicemail. ...about Rosie O'Donnell and why you should be concerned. See, Rosie O'Donnell is about 700 pounds. Yeah. And she eats people through her vagina. You don't say. She opens up her vagina like... And it, it opens up like Pennywise's mouth and it mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. all the rows of piranha teeth. Remember when bashing Rosie O'Donnell was funny back in the 90s? Back when Howard Stern did it. I remember those days, too. Holy shit, I haven't thought about Rosie O'Donnell in like 20 years. What's up? I just want to say I love that old song. boo boo doo boo doo boom boo boo doo boo doo boo Yeah. You know which one I'm talking about. That Mr. one. Under the Ground liver, liver. Oh. My dog is not a robot. Have a good day. Okay. Oh, yeah. While I was uh, doing my show earlier, I found a voicemail on my other phone that I hadn't heard yet before because I don't keep this phone on all the time. But this is a good one. This is uh, related to the hobo show that I did. Was it earlier this week? Or over the weekend or something? I don't remember. This is Nancy's daughter calling, trying to determine why you've been leaving my mother messages. 
If you would like to discuss this further, please call me. My name is Linda. My telephone number is 30. Fucking Linda leaving me bitchy voicemails. I probably left her mother one voicemail where I said, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. And probably said a bunch of crazy stuff in between. And she never picked up. But I just remembered that and didn't want to forget to play it. Hey, Brad, it's me, hey. Andy Anderson. Hey, I'm Andy. I'm just on a walk right now, buddy. And I was thinking about you, you know. Did you have an enjoyable time at DEF CON in, in yeah. Vegas? Did you have fun? Yeah. Did you get drunk on some four locals? No, I did not. Anyway, buddy, hope everything is going well and whatnot. Because they let you smoke weed in your hotel in Las Vegas. What do I need four locos for? Uh, I know you really did kill John Bene Ramsey. It's kind of messed up. Mm-hmm. You know, don't do it again, kind of thing. All right. Yeah. How am I going to kill her again? She's already dead. I forgot to mention at the beginning of this show, and maybe I should just bring this up some other time when I have time to play recordings of it, but I visited Beverly last week. I just happened to be passing through where she lives, and the last time I prank called her, she told me where she worked. So I went to her work. It feels weird to admit all this stuff. I feel like such a stalker, but I did buy stuff from her, so it's okay. But you know what? I'm going to write myself a note that says on the next show I should talk about this Beverly stuff a little bit more and maybe play some of the audio that I have because... I may have accidentally recorded the entire thing of Bev helping me and being a good customer service person. She had no idea who I was. I mean, she may have. I don't know. She was giving me weird looks, but she's very helpful. And I bought a couple of items from her. Why am I saying this now in the middle of the voicemails? I'll bring this up again on the next show, along with Ding Timber information. I'm a big fan. I'm Dave from Eugene, Oregon. I think you should call people on plug share and say something out outrageous what the hell is plug share oh i'm not gonna look it up i don't know you can go with what you want with it but call people oh, on plug share and that you need to charge something okay anyway, have a good day oh plug share and you charge stuff on it what so if you're just out and about and you need to charge your phone you use this website that's weird kind of cool i guess but why don't you just go to mcdonald's they always have plugs Hey Brad, it's Love from Minnesota. My first hey. message was really fucking stupid, so yeah. sorry about that. Ugh. Anyway, I just wanted God. to say thanks for all you do. Um, I laugh out loud all the time listening to your podcast, and I, I love it, especially with all the crazy crap going on in this world. Yeah. So, just wanted to say thanks and love you. Oh, thank God she didn't say to say it back, so I don't have to say it back. I have so many pages of voicemails, and I'm pretty much just going in order, so I'm definitely not going to get to all of these, and I'm sorry, but I have been saying that I'm going to make a voicemail episode soon. I've been saying that for like three years now. I wonder if it'll ever actually happen. Mr. Kater. Hey. What's up, brother? I hope you are sweating your balls off in the back of your car in that triple digit weather in Arizona. Well, yeah. nah, you're in Flagstaff, so I you're playing in the 90s. Yeah, Flagstaff was actually really nice. And at nighttime, I think it got down to maybe 70 or something. It was a very pleasant night to sleep. But holy crap, Texas. And uh, you're probably bored out of your mind looking at that hole from that crater impact. Yeah. Anyways, get home safe, brother. All right, bye. I never did look at the crater impact, by the way. I've seen crater impacts before. Wasn't too impressed by them. I mean, that's not true. They're pretty cool, but I've seen a couple already. What do I need to see another one for? Hey, Brad. It's PNW Bobby over here from Washington. Hey. Uh, big fan of the show, bro. It's been a while. Ain't you bro, I, cowboy. Uh, I'm trying to contact you. Sorry. I don't even know where to get a hold of you anymore. So, uh, anyway, love your show. Thanks. Talk to you later, baby boy. Okay. I don't know why you're having problems contacting me. Just email me. I have an email, show at snowplowshow.com. I will definitely see your message, unless it gets filtered to spam. Hey, Brad, it's next door, Nick. Hey. So uh, I've been going through Hobo Shows, trying to listen up on all of them. That's uh, great. Hit Hobo Shows 48. Uh, Just a few more dings for Brian. And I know since you're reviving the ding timber, I was hoping uh, maybe someone who's going to be right now so we'll be able to use the C word on the notes so we can hear from uh, Brooke who has a very female name but a very male voice what? okay bye what are you talking about who the fuck is Brooke I don't understand anything you just said there you damn weirdo 
but thanks for calling in. Let's do one last voicemail. Hey, Roy, this is Matt One. Um, as usual, thank you for everything you do. You're welcome. I'm listening to A15 with the swap shop call. I know you're on the go. You're saying you're like at some stop somewhere, but the Roy recipient sounds amazing. Yeah, what they did. What did you do to the sound? I, don't I, I didn't hear it today or on the previous hobo sode but for some reason they sounded really weird in the back seat of my car and i'm sure i'm going to record another episode back there so maybe they'll sound weird again but i know exactly what you mean some other people brought it up too i don't know what you did but make sure you listen to it and compare normally they sound like shit and the 815 the royce print chants are much much nicer to listen to so um, Maybe I just need to switch to cellular phones in the prank call call center. See if you can do the same from now on. I don't know what you did different, but um, see you later, Roy. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, I have the exact same setup right now as I did on the previous Snowplow show, but I don't think anyone sounded much different today. Any of those hotel people. Oh yeah, I remember something I was supposed to talk about, another thing that I was supposed to talk about on the beginning of the show and I forgot to. My websites have all been broken for, well, I I mean, they're fixed now, but at least I hope they are, but every single website I own almost was uh, messed up for various reasons. One was just a weird PHP error that wasn't my fault, it was my... I blame my host anyway, but we got that fixed. That shouldn't happen again. And then my secure certificates broke on all the other websites. That's all fixed now. I spent like two hours in the Galveston Public Library sitting on my laptop just fixing all my shit that had gone crazy over the past week while I was driving. And it's finally all fixed and the archives should work again. I think I mentioned that before that I fixed the archives yet again because those are always breaking the snowplow show archives which you can find at snowplowshow.com slash archive and i added some links to that page so when my archives go down there's a few other ones that you can try like on archive.org and my own personal dropbox and pla's seedbox and i linked to the youtube versions because i know some people are trying to listen to all of the snowplow shows but you can't really get to them all because the snowplow show has been happening for 11 years or whatever has been So everything is working once again. Yay. I think that's going to do it for today's episode. So thank you once again, Dark Adderall, FOD87, Synthhead, COP, and the Stunning Kruger Effect. Thanks for being patient with me while I'm on my trip. I will see you all again at least by next week so I can give everyone some Ding Timber information. You guys, we're going to have to watch out for Teslas this year. They've got security cameras on them. They're going to catch you leaving notes. What do we do about that? To rock and roll I never got it back It's turning I dare you to test me No, 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 no Don't hit no switches Oh, no, 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 no No, no, look, look, you're a guest No, 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 no,